Heat transfer is one of the fastest growing decorating trends in today's industry. It's super versatile and it's available in a ton of different finishes, textures, colors, and thickness. It's perfect for small runs, sports decoration like names and numbers on jerseys, and on-demand decoration. It can also be applied to almost any fabric. Heat transfers come in many different types, from heat transfer vinyl, pre-printed plastisol transfers, laser printed transfers, die cut letters and numbers, laser etched twill, the list of possibilities goes on and on. We're here at Zome Design in Spokane, Washington with Braden Jessen, who recently expanded Zome's heat transfer capabilities. Braden, how has heat transfer technology changed what you can offer as a decorator? Well, heat transfer technology has enabled us to um, decorate bags and jackets in locations we typically couldn't get hooped to the embroidery machine or on a pallet for screen printing. Have you seen an increase in demand for heat transfer? Yes, we definitely have. We're getting clients that call in asking for performance polos with something other than embroidery because they don't want the puckering. And so the heat transfers have enabled us to do new trendy items that you'd see in retail, NFL, collegiate items um, that are a little bit more on trend look. Nice. How about colors? Is it, has it helped with different kind of colors you can do? Yeah, well, yeah, you can definitely because now you can do full color logos, um, metallics, all different kinds of substrates. The first step in the heat transfer process is creating cutter-friendly art. Like all decoration techniques, art preparation is one of the most important parts of the process. Once your art is ready, send it to the vinyl cutter. A vinyl cutter uses a very small blade to cut through the heat transfer vinyl, so make sure that your logo elements are big enough to be cut out. Now that the logo has been created, the art team selects the best heat transfer vinyl for the fabric being pressed or to create the desired finish. The operator loads the selected heat transfer vinyl in the machine and performs a test cut. If the test cut isn't good, adjustments are made to the blade depth, pressure, or cutting speed. Now it's time to weed away the excess materials. Once the transfers are ready to go, it's time to set up the machine. There are three important elements that will make or break your heat transfer, time, temperature, and pressure. If you have any questions about these settings, refer to your manufacturer's instructions. Most transfers only need the initial press and peel, but many today's more technical transfers require a secondary press time after the carrier is peeled. Time and temperature are very important settings. The adhesives are designed to melt when a certain temperature is reached. If the press isn't hot enough for the right amount of time, you run the risk of the transfer not adhering. Next, you need to check the machine's pressure. If there's too little pressure, the adhesive won't bond with the fabric. And too much could push the adhesive all the way through the fabric or cause it to push out of the sides, leaving a halo effect. Always adjust the pressure with a garment in the machine, and bear in mind that the thicker garments can cause the machine to read more pressure. Now that the machine is set up, it's time to press. It's a best practice to preheat your lower platen before you start production. This keeps the applications consistent from the first to the last transfer. Place your garment on the press and preheat for a few seconds. Preheating the garment will reduce any moisture that may be present and will add some heat to the transfer. Next, place the transfer face down so you can read it. If it's backwards, you're gonna stick it to the heating element, which makes a nasty bit of cleanup. Place the cover sheet over the transfer. This can be a non-stick sheet, silicone cover craft paper, application pads that reduce scorching or press marks for sensitive fabrics. Clamp the press down and watch the timer as the heat press does its job. When the timer is done, the machine will release or beep to let you know that it's time to lift the press back up. Some transfers require a carrier to be peeled hot, and others may have application instructions to peel warm or even cold. Follow these instructions. If you try and remove a cold peel while it's hot, it'll pull off the garment and make an absolute mess. Once you peel off the carrier, remove the garment from the press, and you're finished. Heat transfers are a great way to grow your decorating business. From small runs to large runs, headwear, sports uniforms, or cool retail-inspired looks, there are endless options when it comes to heat transfer.